be supplying power to something. like some trouble with the current. My webs can conduct that electricity easy. Must be another short in the cable somewhere. in the stash. by the stadium. Now that was my favorite. How come? <laughs> Let's just say I had a New York City that no one else knew about. I used to tap into the stadium's mainframe and watch the games through my problem mask. What? No way. It was like sitting courtside for free 99. Maybe we can hold on to this prowler discount. You know, at least during the season. No can do, Miles. Gotta get our nosebleeds like everyone else. The tortures are finally good again. Symbiote's cocky to be dragging people off the street like that. Get out of here. I'll take care of them. Nice if my next fight was a little bit small. But to balance things out.
prowler stash in the area. I got this down. Another layer of security. This door is reinforced and controlled by an electric overlay. <gasps> System's not getting any power. Need to spark it back online. That's not the one. One generator up and running. I think we need a little more power just to be safe. That didn't do anything. Have a winner.
Hey, kid. You get my stash by the cage? The cage? Thought it looked familiar. Got a great view of the hoops on the west side of the building. One of the most legendary street ball courts in the world. Before I started stealing, most of my fights with your dad were on that blacktop. No way! You and Pop used to battle? Nah, we go to war. But when it was two on two, we put it to rest. He was a bully baller, and I was a trash talker. We were undefeated. How about we come back after your parole? Play a little pickup? Trust me, nephew. You don't want the smoke. Come on. My room could use another poster on the wall. <laughs> Later, Unc. They're not robbing anyone today. Anyone see some robbers who are looking to lose a fight? Whip these guys and branding people. You be Sorry, nobody's getting branded today. <laughs> Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Oh my god, thank you.
little bit farther. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. Bless you, Spider-Man.
Again? Let's see what she had to say. Hello, Spider-Man. Um, I just wanted to let you know that Quentin has agreed to enter some court-monitored counsel to help him with his post-prison transition. Finally. Cole, please be respectful. He's been through a lot. Sorry. I'm just... I'm just glad he's getting help, you know? Anyway, Quentin asked me to pass this along. He thinks he's close to figuring out what's going on. So just keep up the good work, Spider-Man. Good on Beck for going into counseling. We all need help sometimes. I see some burglars. Yo, get off! Here we go. Actions meet oh, consequences! <laughs> There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And touchdown. They'll take good care of you here. Thank you. I'll pay you back somehow. I'll try to help the city too. <laughs> they really thought they had me. Coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building.
How does he come up with this stuff? Think you have enough lasers, on? Why'd you stash tech in this skyscraper? Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the problem. First time working with a crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton's secret tech division. But this kid double-crossed us. Who? Never got her name. But she was good. A pro. A thief in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. Starting to get why you were dad's toughest case. <laughs> Good looking out on the stash, kid. I wonder who got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. I told you. Time to close shop! <laughs> Safe. That's what it's all about. Oh, I wonder if 
This is how Beck acted back in the day. Huh? Only skepticism will save you. Okay, mystery person. Keep that in mind. What just happened? You will to survive. You'll have to go through. It's impossible! Now back to the other guy. Danger now. Take it slow. People won't last long against symbiotes. Yeah, let them go. Come to the Spider-Man.
So the phone number on the impounded truck was the pre-1970s kind with letters. Harlem 7, 4321. Did the truck that got away have the same one? Yeah. But I'm not sure I'm following. <laughs> Pre-1970s trucks were terrible polluters because they had no catalytic converters. My office did an initiative to get them off the roads. So there are now very few old trucks in this neighborhood. Si tuviéramos alguna forma de localizarlo. I got an idea. Nice work, Ma. Back in business. If Ma's right about those trucks, they probably left behind some kind of residue. Hey, Miles. I heard there's a star-studded gala at the museum. If I find the missing pieces, yeah. Never been to a gala before. Do you want to go? Thought you'd never ask. What should I wear? Fierce black, Luffy glam. Bro, let me focus. Right. Uh, good luck. I can't believe people would do this. I was so excited about this exhibit. The whole museum, really. Look, this is an unfortunate situation I'm in here. I mean, you know how much I care about protecting the collective history of this community. I do, which is why I hope this won't derail your support. Okay, let's see if those trucks left anything behind. Here. Spider-Man, any news? Working on some new leads. I'll let you know. Well, I've got business to attend to, but you know my feelings. For me, it's about preserving the history at all costs. Yeah. Hey, Spider-Man. Now, we know you're helping on this. You're good. Thanks. This looks like it could be something from a prehistoric heist truck. Ugh. Smell that sulfur. Definitely from an old engine. Maybe I can isolate it further. To identify the substance. Got it. Aromatic hydrocarbon. This would never make it through a catalytic converter. Hey, Ma. You were right. That truck was so old, it left a unique contaminant in its wake. Fantastico. Can you track it down? On it as we speak. I suddenly have hope we might really be able to find everything, pull off the gala, and save the museum. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time. Okay, I know. Well, be careful, and let me know what you find. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Anyway, we delivered everything we had. The rest of it fell off the truck. Then you better freaking find it! I understand, sir. We'll keep looking for the last item. He's stiffing us. What did I tell you? No. He'll pay when we deliver the saxophone. No, the saxophone. I think you know where. Settle down, idiot. This guy's loaded. Just need to make him happy. I am done. I'm gonna go find that guy and take my money. You're gonna blow the spoiler alert? He's gone! Did you really think you seen the last of me? How the hell did the spider fight? Take him down! Hard him!
Okay. That's all of them. Let's open up that truck and get the rest of those museum pieces. Empty. They must have already given their boss whatever was in here. All roads seem to lead to that guy. Sounds like somebody's phone. Okay. So there's something out there they're still looking for. So I found the second truck. But it was empty. Oh, no. But they lost one of the pieces somehow. Charlie Parker's saxophone. Oh, Miles. Head over to C.J. Walker Park. Okay. Why? One of our interns said she heard a guy talking about a saxophone he found. I didn't believe her at first. She's kind of a... Bochichera. If it's the one these guys lost, their boss seemed really interested in finding it. As he should be. Charlie Parker's a legend. That saxophone is priceless. Who should I look for at the park? I don't have a name. They said a trumpet player was talking about it. Trumpet. Got it. Thanks, Nyaranita. Let me know what happens. Te quiero. Change clothes first. Don't want to disrupt the festival. Okay, where is this trumpet guy? This place looks a lot better today than it did when Fisk and his crew took it over. What's up? You here with Gloria? Nah, she's working. I just got here. Was looking for a trumpet player. You seen one anywhere? Yeah, Teo is here, playing his trumpet. Teo plays trumpet? Mm-hmm. I think he was over near that far gate. Great. Thanks, Steph. And say hi to Gloria for me. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Spider-Man. Hey, Miles. Teo! Sounding good, man. Wow, I didn't know you played the trumpet. I dabble, I dabble. Hey, I was actually gonna call you. When I was in keynote music this morning getting my horn fixed, some kids brought in a sax they found on the street. I was thinking it could potentially be the one from the museum. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. But we're trying to do the right thing. Yeah, 100%. You talking about Keynote on Cathedral? Yeah, talk to Eugene. Thanks. Headed there right now. Trumpet sounds great, bro. Hey, Ma. Found the sax. On my way to pick it up now. Ay, bendito. Angela will be so relieved. This just might save the museum. Hey, did you know Teo played the trumpet? He's pretty good, too. Had an audience and everything. The whole park was bumping. Precisely why this museum is so important. The music enriches our community and brings it together. Is that my mom or Councilwoman Morales talking? It's both. Ten cuidado, mijo. <laughs> Uh-oh. The 
This doesn't look good. Hey, Spider-Man! I was about to put an alert in your app. What happened here? A couple of creepy guys just dragged Eugene out of here. Definitely wasn't right. They went that way. Thanks. I'll check it out. Let's scan for any clues here. Spider-Man. You okay? A few bruises are okay, as long as they left me my keys. Here, take these and open my trunk. Charlie Parker saxophone. That's the real deal right there. I was getting ready to return to the museum, and those guys busted in. He used that to record his masterpiece, Ornithology, 1946. You a bird fan? <laughs> My dad was. I don't know much about old music. Mm, mm, oh. <laughs> when you hear an MC today, you syncopated accents, stress the offbeat, flow in and out of the rhythm. That ain't number bebop. I have to listen a little closely next time. I'll get this back to the museum right away. Then I gotta call my insurance company. Okay. Thanks, man. Right. Hmm. If I could get into the phone these guys were using to communicate with the mastermind. <laughs> All zeros is a number equivalent of password as a password. Just a midnight rendezvous with a criminal mastermind. No biggie.
change you forever. Let the agony begin. Is that Spider-Man? Help! Help! Don't worry, I'll find you. Destroy them all. This is crazy. Someone's gotta be messing with these Mysteriums. Based on that last call from Betsy, seems like Beck and his crew have it almost figured out. You can't save anyone! Can't save yourself! This ends at the beginning. What does that mean? Prepare for some sleight of hand, Spider. is over. You're safe now. Hey. <laughs> Another call from Betsy. Spider-Man? Cole and I are a bit concerned. He said he was gonna kill us. Please, Cole, don't panic. <sighs> Spider-Man. We found out Quentin lied to us. Instead of going to counseling, he went somewhere else. When we confronted him, he said some threatening things and then left. Hopefully he just needs to cool off, but if you see him or hear from him, can you let us know? Thank you. Uh, this just went from bad to worse. Got a new voicemail. Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to Coney Island, I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Well, that doesn't sound like a trap at all. Just hope he hasn't hurt Betsy and Cole. They're not robbing anyone today. Anyone see some robbers who are looking to lose a fight? I can 
swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm not too heavy. There you go. Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to tell everyone in there how much of a good guy you are. Thank you. 